High school playoffs in Tennessee. Am I ready to lead my team to a state championship and get more offers from Power 5 schools? Let's find out. We played Dyersburg in the first round. 11-0 undefeated team. First play here. I shed a sack. I drive. I have the touchdown and I get pummeled by... Is that a linebacker? DB? I don't know. Bro was just kind of squatting there the whole play. Very next play though. I come back and I boom the DB there. Oh my god. That's a crime ladies and gentlemen. Still a two score game in the second. I read man coverage pre-snap. So I'm looking for my favorite target. The Vietnamese valedictorian. The Vietnamese vacuum. Tien Nguyen. All he had to do was beat that safety there and I had the utmost confidence that he would get the job done. We defeat Dyersburg in round one pretty comfortably and we keep our perfect season alive. I was really surprised at how slow Dyersburg defense was to be honest but then I saw their head coach and I was like oh anyways we get another scholarship offered to us from the Hokies which was Michael Vick's college and we also started getting noticed out in the west in the Pac-12 Washington State Washington and Oregon all showing interest and we have broken a new record ladies and gentlemen we are now ranked 26 in the country which makes me the highest ranked Chinese player in high school history as Buckner's highest rank was 28 I have the attention of the nation they've never seen a Chinese QB rise up the ranks like this I got people back home learning the rules of football and everything. The buzz is insane. Round two against 10 and 1 Maryville. I don't know why they built a stadium in the middle of a forest, but regardless, they show a cover one man, which means I gotta hit Tian, who body bags the DB for a touchdown. He's becoming one of the best receivers in the nation, man. The Asian stock is going up right now, ladies and gentlemen. If you're non Asian, find yourself an Asian wife. By the time your kid is NFL ready, we probably gonna take over the entire NFL. Our defense on the next drive gets us back to back sack on second and third down to force Maryville to kick a field goal. First and ten, I roll out to my right. All I see is green grass ahead of me, and I just eat it there at the end. I'm definitely gonna get toasted for that in Monday's film session. That was embarrassing. But a dominant defensive performance mixed with our explosive offense led us to a 55-3 win over Maryville. We had seven total touchdowns, and Dan Lanning from Oregon has seen enough. Third round of the playoffs, one game away from playing at Neyland Stadium in Knoxville for the state championship. Collegedale kicks the game up with a field goal and then I take a terrible sack to start but on third and 20 I rope a back shoulder to my guy my brother from a different mother Nguyen who makes an incredible toe tap grab and we end the drive with a strike up the seam to put up seven on the scoreboard third quarter I see miscommunication between DB so I throw the deep post and Nguyen makes a sweet one-handed catch right there now I'm rolling to my left looking for the highlight play to seal myself more scholarships I throw it up to Nguyen and he drops it I just start standing there staring at him. I, I couldn't believe it. But it didn't matter in the end because we send College Dale home. I am on fire right now as I have back-to-back -back seven touchdown games. And we have made it to the state championship. One of my goals before I started my season was definitely to win state for all of my teammates and most importantly my family. You already know how important finishing first and winning trophies is in Asian family. It's really the only way that I could win over my mom to pursue a football career. So we are at Neyland Stadium. Knoxville. Mom is in the stands to watch her son play for the very first time. Perfect season on the line. State championship against Franklin High. who have quarterback Jamal Knox, the third ranked player in the country and is the number one player out of Tennessee. But to be the best, you gotta beat the best. And that's exactly what I wanted to do in my final high school game of my career. Not gonna lie, my palms were Wet. I felt like I was gonna throw up in the tunnel with how nervous I was for this game and the nerves translated onto the field as we start off the game looking for a shot play down the field and the ball is underthrown for an interception the very first play of the game is an interception Jamal Knox comes back to hit a 40 yard touchdown just the absolute worst start we could have asked for third and 13 on the next drive I have the seam open but the ball sails on me and I almost turn it into another pick we are forced to punt and Frank when marches down the field to make it 10-0. I've never been down two possessions in a game in my entire life. My mom is shaking her head in the stands right now, preparing the slipper as we speak. First and 10, coach calls Carl Flats to get me on the board with my arm, but I hesitate for half a second. The ball comes out late, and it's another pick. Knox then comes down on the other end and cashes in to make it 17-0 for Franklin. Knox is clearly outplaying me right now and isn't even close. He's got two touchdowns, and my longest pass is four yards. Coach knew 
knew the arm wasn't working, so he calls a triple option, and I keep it to break out for our first first down of the game. Next play, another option run. I pitch it to my running back, but Franklin's defense is all over that. They are swarming sideline to sideline right now as all the momentum is on their side. Second and 10, I roll out to my right, and I finally hit Tien for our first big completion of the game. 20-yard reception. Next play, I come back to Tien again as he finds the hole in the zone as the arm starts to heat up. First play in the red zone. I see a lane ahead. I see some open grass. I take it all the way to get Clarksville on the board. First play in the second quarter. Knox has been on fire, but he throws an interception to concept pick kick. Con, and he gives me a nice return as well. Could this be a momentum swing? Very next play. Coach calls another triple option. I keep it again, and I see receivers blocking downfield. It's on him, Hef. Do your dance. Let me see something. Hey. Hey, hey, yay, hey, yay. Hey. Okay, that was ass. But what a response after a brutal first quarter. Momentum is clearly on our side as Knox eats a sack and defense forces a punt. First and 10, I keep it as my legs are doing the damage. I hit a spin move truck. That is the most disrespectful play of all time right there. A spin into a truck is crazy. Crazy. Coach finally calls a pass play, and I find my running back up the middle for a huge game. We then cap the drive off with a QB keeper into the end zone to take our first lead of the game. However, Knox says not so fast as he hits a deep shot to his receiver. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm starting to think we could be in for a shootout with the way Knox has been playing. Franklin on second and goal. Knox pitches it out to his running back as he tries to get the edge. But we have guys outside. We make initial contact. But what? No idea how he got in there, but Franklin snatched the lead back. First and 10, coach calls another option. I fake the pitch to my running back and I'm off. I cut inside with a move, breaks a tackle, keeps my balance and stayed on my feet. Now it's a race to the end zone. 63 yard touchdown, the run of my life right there, ladies and gentlemen. Clarksville has regained the lead, but now we got Jamal Knox running the two minute drill to close out the half as his receiver makes a ridiculous one handed catch. What is going on right now? Franklin is making plays left, right, and center as they run a screen to our all out play and they respond with a touchdown. This is the craziest game of the year. Now we move on to the last half of our senior season with a state championship on the line. Franklin gets the ball to start. Defense needs to set a tone with a stop. Second in inches here. Bang! That's exactly what we needed to start the half. An interception. Third and seven. Coach calls a screen pass and we lose a yard. I start yelling at Coach's play call here so he opts to go for it and give me a chance to earn his trust back. Fourth and nine. I'm looking down field standing in the pocket being patient giving my receivers a chance to get open i roll it to my left i see open grass and i get snipped by the ankle turn over on downs by far the worst game of my year just got even worse we go back to watching Knox on 39 he runs up the middle and he just carries our linebacker for a first down i've never seen an opposing qb like this in my life and on second and goal Knox dumps it off for an easy touchdown he's got 336 yards and four touchdowns on the day I have 118 and two picks. That touchdown puts Franklin back up by two possessions as we break out for another big run to start out the drive. Third and seven. I'm looking for this comeback route. I've been making this throw all season. I'm just so uncomfortable playing without a lead. I've never played a game this bad in my life. Fourth down, coach wants to go for it again. Maybe our kicker lost his foot or something, but nobody is open downfield. I roll to my right and I see open field ahead. I take off and once again, I make a huge play with my legs. 18 carries, 194 and four touchdowns. At this point, I'm getting RB allegations like I'm Lamar. First and 10 option is called fumble. Curtis picks it up and he ends up going all the way. I am crumbling on the biggest stage of my life. This is the worst time to play my worst game. Fourth quarter, three possession gain. We need a score right here in the red zone. And I throw another pick. This might be the biggest choke job in the history of high school football. Turnover number four, but the defense bails me out and gets me the ball at midfield. Second and 10, I'm looking for any receiver to show up. Franklin, I've done an excellent job at containing you and no one is open downfield though so I take off of my legs once again and I make a clutch play to pick up the first down there six minutes left time is running out and I drop a dime by far the best throw of my game and I cap off the drive with a rushing touchdown to make it a 10 point game Knox is back on the ball third and 18 he throws it out for eight yards but it is short of the first down four minutes left in the game third and four we are one for six on third downs but I find Howell for the first second and eight every play matters now I throw off my back foot and my receiver drops it. The pressure is getting to all of us, but on third down, I hit the same exact receiver. He breaks a tackle and just like that, it is a three point game. 314 left. Can the defense give me a chance? Oh, that's a drop. 
Knox is feeling the pressure. Second and ten. The handoff is stopped. Third and nine. The Clarksville student section is riled up. Can the defense give me a chance here? Knox checks it down. And it's short. Defense gets me the ball back. Down three. 208 left. State championship on the line. I check it to my fullback to start the drive. But I missed a wide open touchdown. Second and one. I hit the out route to move the chains. Keep the drive alive. Next play. I drop back. And I make the biggest throw of my career. That gets us in field goal range right there. What a huge play right there. As now we can start thinking about going for six to win the game. First and ten. Coach calls an option. And I missed the pitch. <laughs> Franklin recovers. I, I can't even commentate over this, man. I'm, I'm done. Fifth turnover of the game. I'm in genuine shock. I'm on the sideline with my helmet off thinking this game's over. Second and seven. One first down and this game is done. Hand off to Hopkins. Goes right up the middle and our linebacker does a good job standing him up. Setting him third and inches. 108 left in the game. If they get this, Franklin are the Tennessee State champions. Knox keeps it to himself and my defense comes through again. Coach quickly calls timeout and just like that, we have one last opportunity this could be the last drive we play together in high school gentlemen i drop back hitting you in for a quick four yard game we have to run hurry up as the clock is ticking i try taking off but i get sacked for negative six. Third and 12 20 seconds left rolling to my right nobody available downfield and i take yet another sack and so our season comes down to one last play fourth and 16 can we get our prayers answered no, we cannot. Franklin High becomes the state champions for Tennessee. We lose 45 to 42. I turned the ball over five times. I let the entire team, the coaching staff, the school, my family down. It was the worst feeling I've ever felt in my life as Jamal Knox completely outplayed me. However, I needed to move on quick and talk things over with my family. Will I continue to pursue a career in football over academics? And if I do, which college will I commit to?